Kari Prajan became a household name after the 2009 Miss USA pageant, and during the contest last April, she was asked to share her views on same-sex marriages. When she answered honestly and defended traditional marriage, she immediately became the target of vicious attacks from the left. But even after all of the name-calling and being stripped of her Miss California crown, Kari Prajan is not backing down. Joining me now for a Hannity exclusive is the author of the brand new book, Still Standing, The Untold Story of My Fight Against Gossip, Hate, and Political attacks. And by the way, I'm proud that I wrote the forward for this book. Terry Prejean, how are you? Good to see you. Good Thank to see you. you. So much. Well, your life never is without controversy. I know. You know, and exactly. it's still going on today. All right, look, look, we might as well go right to it. There is TMZ, the website, mm -hmm. has up there that they have obtained a quote, and I'm using their word, Carrie Prejean sex tape. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Well, they can call it whatever they want to call it, mm -hmm. but it was the biggest mistake of my life. I, you know, I was all by myself. I, I was sending a boyfriend at the time who I loved and cared about, um, you know, video of me and... Um, this, is, this is when you were a teenager? Yeah, I was a teenager at the time and, you know, never did I think it would ever come out. But it was bad judgment, you know, and it was, it's embarrassing. And it's, it's humiliating to be talking about this now on national TV, if you can way, imagine. It would be really embarrassing if it was me, but, you know, but, I'm, but you know, I want to make a light of it. But this right. is really, bo does this bother you a lot? Yeah, it does bother right. me. But you know what? You just have to take responsibility for it. And I am. I'm taking total responsibility for it. I was, you know, alone, sending it to my boyfriend who I cared about and loved about at the time when you're young you think you know this is this is the one and and um you know never did i think it would come and just slap me right in the face so 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 this so what happened so this this was a relationship with a with a boyfriend this is not a sex tape when we hear the word sex tape this is not anything like some of the ones we've heard about this is you were sending video of yourself to your boyfriend. Right, I was all by myself yeah. and uh, a boyfriend no one you was loved. In, right, and no one was in the room with me um I was not having sex with anybody, and, um, and he you can call saw, it whatever you want to call he, it. So, he, so now you become famous, he saved the, this video all these years yeah. and sells it? Right. It's That's a pretty exactly big betrayal. Happened. It is, it is, and I've learned a lot. I, I have. I've learned a lot about people and, and just what they'll do to make some extra money. Yeah. And have you so. spoken to him about this? Um, you know, of course, he denies everything, but... Whatever. Well, there's only one place you're going to come from, right? Or, exactly. Or at least originate from. Exactly. What do you think? Now, it's interesting. TMZ, they're, they're a pretty hard-hitting website, but they said they were making an editorial decision not to air it. Is, are, are you prepared that eventually this is going to get out? And you can, Are you concerned about that? I mean, I think anyone would be concerned that their biggest mistake of their life is going to be, you know, aired. But, you know, like I said, you just have to take responsibility for it. It happened. Um, it was a choice that I made. It's, it was the worst mistake of my life, and I just have to deal with it. And, and I'm you, ready to just move forward and just, you know, yeah, it happened. And, and it's not what everybody's making it seem to be, but you just have to deal with it. What do you think this is related to? I mean, you were asked a question. You didn't know what the question was going to be about gay marriage. You gave an honest answer. Mm -hmm. It becomes this big controversy. Do you think this is re the fact that they, they would dig deep? Is this to show that, wow, well, Carrie Prejean was a teenager, that she's a hypocrite? Is that? I guess what they're trying to say is that Christians, um, you know, are perfect. And I, I never said I was perfect. And in my book, I, I definitely don't say I'm perfect. No, you just go to great lengths to, to say that Christians are not. Exactly. And, um, you know, it, it just shows that it, it's been seven months. Isn't yeah. that crazy to think it's been seven months and it's, it's taken them this long, you know, to just dig through my past, beat my parents up, you know, just all these attacks just need to stop. And um, it's just because of my answer. And I think people need to be reminded of that. And I'm 22 years old. Mm -hmm. People forget about it's that. It's also a different world. I, look, i got to be honest, and I've been honest with my audience. If we go back and dig into my <laughs> teenage years and when I was in my early 20s, if anyone looks at those moments in the, when they're young... You'd never want this to become public. Right. You'd think this is related. Look how they attack Governor Palin. Look how they attack Michelle Bachman and Michelle Malkin and Ann Coulter. Mm. You'd think conservative women are, are targeted because Absolutely. of their views. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And what does that mean to you? Um, it's disturbing to me. It really is disturbing. You know, my sister is a liberal, and yeah. she is disgusted with the way that her sister, we're 11 months apart, and we share different views. This is the one in the military. Right. Yeah. And we share completely different views, but we've always been raised to have tolerance and to show civility, and we can agree to disagree, and I've never, you know, my 22 years of my life, I've never seen anything like this before. 
ever. Yeah. I've never seen it. Well, I guess this goes down to still standing, mm -hmm. you know, and what has, what has this, this whole experience, when you look at it, and maybe the worst is yet to come, and as much mm -hmm. as this tape is probably, I have to, if people have it, they'll probably release it. But you're not going to let this bother you. I was mm -hmm. talking to you before we came on the air. You're, you're fine with who you are. Yeah. How hard is it to be this, in the middle of a national controversy? Um, you know, I just have to rely on my faith, I have to rely on my family, my millions of supporters out there who still support me and who know, you know, what's, why this is really happening. But, you know, this book, I'm so happy that, that I wrote this book. This is my first book that I've ever written and, you know, it gives Americans just hope and it shows them that, you know, Americans should not be attacked for their beliefs. They should not be silenced. You know, we have the freedom of speech and I was punished. I was fired. I was brutally attacked and still being attacked. People are still trying to dig up things from my past. You know what's amazing? It's still, I think it's a reminder to people, you're only 22 years old. I mean, you're still a very young person. Yeah. And one of the things that you, that you do in this book that I liked in the book um, is you really address young girls mm -hmm. and you try to maybe counsel them and advise them. What do you tell young girls that, you know, have these boyfriends, their first right. love, like this was your, one of your, I guess one of your first boyfriends, yeah. you really yeah. were close to him, uh -huh. now it's been a big betrayal. What do you tell young girls? Be careful. Nothing is private anymore. Yeah. Nothing is private. With Facebook, with MySpace, with all that going on, I mean, you have to be so careful. And in my last chapter of my book, I give, you know, advice to young women and just yeah. to people in general that, you know, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes just like all of us make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, this book has been so great for, for me to share with other people what happened, because I do share. I do share what really happened. And people have heard bits, bits and pieces of, you know, the liberal media's version of it. But um, basically, it's for Americans who believe their beliefs are you know, under it's attack. amazing. I, I guess I have interviewed you at every moment yeah. of heightened controversy. I know. And you seem to handle it really well. Thank you. you know? I appreciate it. And if I it was the pictures of me, I'll be honest, I'd be melting and falling <laughs> apart. I just Well, my so. attackers would love nothing more but for what? me to be hiding in the corner right now and be crying. <laughs> but I'm still standing. Yeah, good to see you. Congratulations on the book. Thank Thanks, Carrie. So Thanks for being with us. Thank you.